Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. 
Welcome back to Mobile Music Pro, your home for mobile music production. We're going to have a great, great time today, guys. Let's hope that everything's working. Let's hope the internet's working. Let's hope the microphones are working. <laughs> Let's hope the technology... Oh, look. See, my iPad's not plugged in. Uh, see, now the iPad screen's not here. It was here a second ago. There's always something. We'll get that back in a second. But uh, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining us every single Sunday. We got a lot of stuff to go through. We're going to go through an app. We're going to make some music. We're going to do a giveaway. All that good stuff. But first, I just want to say hello to everybody who is here currently. Hello, hello, everybody. I want to say hello to Mr. Tim Taylor, who's the first one in here today. What's going on? He says he's curious what this app can do. Yes, there is a lot of stuff that you can do in this app, and we're going to go through a bunch of it today. Mr. Samuel Linderman is here, says Piano Motifs is also a nice companion app for this as well. And yes, I have to agree with that. Really, really love Piano Motifs. Really good for making melodies. Computer Head is here. What's going on? Stephen Tucker is here. Yes, yes. <laughs> Samuel says, bring on the E minor metal riffs. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs> e minor metal riffs. That is exactly what we're probably be going to be doing today. All right. All right. Who else is here? K dot. What's going on? Says, have a great stream. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. We will try. We will try. But uh, we're going uh, <laughs> to, you never quite know. You never quite know. But guys, I'm super excited to get started today. First, let's just see if we can um, deal with this issue. Oh, the iPad screen seems to be back. Okay. <laughs> what? I, I, uh, live streaming. Oh my God. Okay. That is fun. So good old live streaming. We love it. We love it. Let's close out, out of a couple of these apps here. So uh, what I did today real quick is just make a little quick pop punk eight bar loop here. Uh, just to kind of demonstrate uh, what you can do once you have something that you can start from, right? So what I started with was something from Riffler here, which you can see. So I started with that from Riffler, and from that, I kind of built the rest of the, the loop here. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to see what that sounds like right now. So let's go ahead. Uh, do I, I don't even have anything on the master track. This is very lightly mixed. Uh, might as well throw something on the max master track. <laughs> a little maybe, maybe like a master strip, just something. Uh, but let's see what we can do here. Let's hit play. Seven people watching. All right. Appreciate you guys. Hey, Joe Dominguez is here. Appreciate you. Mr. Not a Box is here as well. So let's listen to this quick little 16 or little eight bar pop punk loop I made starting from Riffler. Actually, I want to start with less stuff. <laughs> I want to start with even less stuff. Start with just this. <laughs> All right, so that was a quick little uh, eight bar loop I made there um, using Riffler starting from there as the very start. So once you start from there, you can start to imagine what you can go from, you know, so we started with this and added some drums then added some guitar to that and of course some bass. Gotta have the bass. And then a lead. And it's pretty much just that simple. So today we're going to be doing something similar. We're going to be starting with Riffler and seeing what we can make. Though I think we're going to go towards metal, a little bit more to leading towards metal instead of pop punk here. But uh, that's just to give you an example 
Griffler supports a ton, a ton of genres, and we're going to go through a few of these right now. So first, I just want to check the chat, see how everybody's doing. Did you guys enjoy that quick little loop? Let me know how you thought of that. Threw that together real quick. Oh, I already got a super chat from Mr. Tim Taylor. Appreciate you, man. We uh, we definitely love to say that super chats are really, really, really welcome, but never expected, of course. So thank you so much, guys. We do a lot of work to put this show together for you, including making little loops here, making some music, and of course, all the hard work we do on the live stream. But yes, yes, 10 people watching right now. Appreciate you guys. Music R Master is here. Appreciate you, man, for being here. Mr. Computerhead says, the more the merrier. Yes, yes. Mr. Uh, Computerhead says, this brings me back to my childhood, the early 2000s. Absolutely, man. Just turn on a PS2, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and we are good to go. And we are back in my high school days. Yes, I am kind of old. <laughs> We're probably all a little old in here. Uh, my, my audience generally is, you know, in the 30s and 40s um, and 50s, really. So <laughs> I am myself. I'm turning 40 this year. So yes, yes. Burns is here. Says he's been a minute since he's been here. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you coming by. Mr. Third Person Productions got a brand new album out, I believe. I think I forgot to share that one out uh, yesterday on yesterday's newsletter. Sorry about that, uh, Mr. Third Person Productions. I'll make sure to get that out on the next week's newsletter. But I believe he's got a brand new album out. Make sure you check out a Third Person Productions because he uses a lot of Riffler on those tracks. So yeah, th shout out to Third Person Productions. Mr. Keith Tut is here. Says, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Glad he's not demoing Piano Tech 8. <laughs> yeah. Piano Tech 8 is amazing, people. Uh yeah, that is that's just incredible. That's gonna be another stream. Of course, I don't I don't know how I'm gonna demo that. Um, but yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> yes, yes. Um Joe Dominguez says poison is perfect for metal. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh Poison is amazing. In fact, uh, I'm just going to add that to the track real quick. Um, pull up the a Blink track that I have here, or a Blink project. I'm just going to throw Poison up there so I don't forget, just in case, you know, the more options, the merrier, is what we like to say over here. We'll just throw a, just a quick, in case we feel like using it, Poison in here. Audio units, Poison. Poison. Yes, it's very poisonous. Come here, Poison. Take it. Take it. Yeah, that's got some really analog, really good stuff in there. We'll just keep that there for now. Just checking the chat before we do, before we get into Riffler real quick. <laughs> Joe, yeah i know bro I, yeah joe says uh, i thought you were 28 yeah uh, i get that a lot i've been looking young since a very young age you know when i was in high school i looked like i was freaking 10 <laughs> so when i got out of high school i looked like i was actually a teenager when i got out of high school like more like college now that i'm in my 40s i kind of look like i'm in my 20s late 20s uh, but yeah we'll see how that we'll see if that continues to happen that's probably going to be like i'm just going to probably look 60 one day that's probably what's going to happen <laughs> All right, Mr. Keith. Yes, it had to crush the thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. Make sure to smash the likes. If you're here and you're enjoying the show, make sure you smash the likes. Helps us get into more people's feeds, which allows us to tell more people about mobile music production. As you can see, my hair is still wet. I just got out of the shower. Like, I barely made it to the stream, fam. I was uh, working on this song, working on all sorts of stuff. Yeah, Keith says demo in demo mode. That's probably what I'm going to do, Keith. I'm probably just going to literally demo Piano Tech in demo mode. Sorry, uh, because I don't have the extra 800 uh, quid to throw on that right now. But eventually, eventually I will. Uh, first, I got to get a new iPad. Then I'm going to probably grab Piano Tech. Welton is here. Welton's got a brand new track that we shared in this week's newsletter. Make sure you check out Mr. Welton. It says, hi, folks and friends. All right. Yes, yes. <laughs> What's my computer? What's my age again? <laughs> yes. Oh, Blink. My lovely, lovely high school days of Blink-182. Never forget. Blink-182. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that is what uh, that little brought me back to. But no problem. We'll get to some fun stuff. Probably do some metal, like I said, and just to switch it up because we just did some pop punk. Now, probably do some metal. Hey, I like to say quid. I like to say quid because I hang around a lot of people from the UK, you know? I do. I hang along. I hang around from uh, with a lot of people from the UK, and so sometimes I say quid, but I mean bucks, <laughs> as we say in America. Uh, quid, of course, is slang for um, pound, and then of course, buck is slang for dollar. We love it, <laughs> Stephen Tucker. Yeah, yeah. I like to say quid. Leave me alone, you bloody elf. 
But all right, here we go. So let's get into Mr. Riffler. Speaking of the UK, Mr. Jonathan Riff, uh, Mr. Jonathan Bell, developer of the Riffler, is also um, from the UK. So it's very, very cool. And of course, do make sure you check out our newsletter, guys, because we have um, an interview with the developer himself, Mr. Jonathan Bell, in this week's newsletter, which you can sign up for completely free at mobilemusicpro.com slash newsletter. Make sure you check that out. We just crossed over 3,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much. 3,000 people. 3,000. That was crazy. I can't hear my clapping. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear myself. I want to hear people clapping for me. Ah, thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. No, <laughs> it's all thanks to you guys here uh, that we got 3,000 subscribers on our email so that we can get more people again into mobile music production because we put in mobile music production news in there, tutorials, app releases, discounts, all that good stuff. Check it out. MobileMusicPro.com slash newsletter with an interview from the one, the man himself, Mr. Jonathan Bell, the developer of this Riffler app. Now, <clears throat> I think we're about ready to get into this. Let's slow down the BPM a little bit. It's a little bit high. Maybe we'll just leave it at 130 for now. Eh, 140 maybe. Yeah. Okay. So here it is, the Riffler app. 15 people watching. Shout out to you guys. Dr. Rabbitfoot is here. Appreciate you, man. Lazy Cow is here. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. We wish you the happiest of the happiest from everybody here at Mobile Music Pro. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So here it is, Riffler, the Riffler app. Now, let's, this. in fact, what we're going to do is we're just going to um, start from scratch. So let's let's open it up from scratch. Let's go audio units, start it. Open it from scratch. Riffler. I can't search in Cubasis, so I have to freaking scroll and scroll and scroll. <laughs> Swear to God. Come on, Lars. Lars. Shout out to Lars. Uh, the lead dev over there at uh, Cubasis, at Steinberg for Cubasis 3. Come on, Lars. Give us a search, bruh. Give us a search. That's all I want. So here we are. Riffler. This is what you see when you first start. There's no actual notes in there yet. But to get started, uh, all you have to do is click on Create Riff. Computer Head says, unless we're making thrash metal, the BPM is too low. Yeah, it's true. I mean... Well, what do you guys think for an average, uh, for how about modern metal? What do you guys think for BPM for modern metal? That's going to be like 120, right? Pretty sure. Might be slow. Well, what do I have, just real quick, just for fun, what do I have for BPMs in my metal pack? Let's just take a quick gander. Media, audio, my samples, modern metal, drums, drum loops. Uh, 140, you know, so 140 is not too bad for modern metal. What do you guys think? Samuel says 160 plus. Yeah, we could do 160 plus too. Yep. We can do a little faster, you guys think? So everybody's saying 160, we could do what? Hey, Technics, what's going on? We are about to make some rock. Well, actually, we're going to demo this amazing Riffler at first. And then we're going to make some rock and roll. Uh, Keith, yeah, somebody I know has gotten Piano Tech 8, uh, you know, Nino Beats, shout out to Nino Beats, he purchased it, but let me know if you have any questions about Piano Tech 8, because I did do a little research on, on, into it, so let me know. Samuel says the Cubasis sale ends on May 15th, guys, so make sure you do check out Cubasis right now if you don't, if you don't, if you don't have it yet, it is on sale for half price, I believe $29.99, where it's normally $49.99, so make sure you grab that, 33% off, I think, then, uh, make sure you grab that. If you don't have it yet, because it's a fantastic dot. It's our favorite dot over here. <laughs> Third person says, I wonder what Vortex's favorite new update for Riffler is. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Welton says, Riffler is the best for mobile music guitar production. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, people are singing Riffler's praises already in the chat. We love it, love it. Uh, Lazy Cow says, Riffler is a cool app. Use it for guitar practice sometimes. Yes, yes. Samuel says, I love classic drum and bass with chopped metal guitar. So yeah, 160 plus. Yeah, drum, uh, drum and bass with some chopped metal. Ooh, that, that does sound dope. Yeah, we'll have to make that sometime. Yeah, but yeah, uh, Burns says, Cubasis is cheap even at discount price. I mean, $29.99 is so cheap. It's, it's cheap even at regular price, which is $49, right? $50 for this entire DAW. I mean, you know, that's pretty cheap uh, considering the fact that it's hundreds of dollars on the desktop. But that's fine. I'm getting too distracted, guys. So yeah, between 140 and 160 BPM is probably what you want to be. For modern metal, uh, maybe we'll just split the difference to 150 right now. What do you guys think? 
I have some uh, drum loops from our completely free Essentials Modern Metal Pack in here. That one. That's a good one. That one's fun to play with. <laughs> I like that one, probably my favorite. I think that's my favorite. Three or two. Yeah, I do like this one. This one's always pretty fun. 140. Yeah, set 140 here. Who knows? Who knows if you use that or not? But let's keep going. We got to show off Riffler, fam. 15 people watching. Let's show off the app. So here he is, Riffler, the one and only Riffler. What's pretty cool is if you do open it in standard mode. Let's just open up Riffler in standard mode. Riffler. Open that up. So you can see if you do click on the, uh, if you open up Riffler in standard mode and you click on the logo, uh, Mr. John was uh, kind enough to put a credit here for Mobile Music Pro because we did uh, help him with the user interface design for this app. And let me tell you, it was so much fun working with John to get this app uh, into this type of design. And now we just got kind of got us do the last little 10%, the last little touch-ups now, because there's just a couple little things that are a little off. Like my create riff button is not quite like I designed it here, <laughs> but you know, there's a few little things that he's got to uh, touch up a little bit, but so far uh, everything is looking absolutely fantastic. So when you look at this in full screen, it's absolutely beautiful right here in full screen. Uh, if you make it in minimized, it's, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit harder to read there. Um, so you do probably want to kind of keep it in at least in halfway screen if you're going to be using it. Yeah, yeah. You guys are chatting up. Good, good. Yeah, remember, if you do want to be entered into the giveaway to win this app during the last 15 minutes of this two-hour stream, definitely make sure you participate in the chat. Definitely say hello, ask questions, answer questions, whatever you want to do. Uh, just go ahead and participate in the chat. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't, when you throw your name in there at the end, people are going to recognize, people are going to say, hey, I never saw this guy chat. I never saw this dude say anything. So it's going to be a little awkward. So make sure you do participate in the chat if you do want to be in the giveaway. Yes, yes. Yes, this is a, a lovely, lovely font as well. Um, this is a font that's used in a bunch of different um, mobile apps, you know, a bunch of different mobile apps and the website as well. But yeah, it's a great font. Uh, what can you recommend for the Cubasis sale? Well, definitely just grab Cubasis, of course, and the in-app purchases are all good. I mean, you know, you can take a look, but they're all good. I just, I recommend them all. I recommend Cubasis and... Telling, I recommend Cubasis and all the in-app purchases inside of Cubasis. Can you create your own notes inside or is it randomized riff? So yeah, that's coming one day. Uh, that's going to be coming eventually in a future update. We will be able to enter in your own chord progressions and your own notes. For now though, it is only going to be generated. That you, so you can't enter in your own stuff quite yet, but that is going to be coming. That is going to be freaking amazing too when that comes. But not quite yet. So here is the app. Lovely, nice and organized. We have at the top here. This is where the notes will be. And then you can click a randomize button to just get a random preset in there. Uh, or you can click on the options to check a couple of different things in here. This is a page that he's got to clean up a little bit as well. You can see it's kind of kind of messy a little bit. <laughs> you know, he's going to get that cleaned up. But lots of options in here to, to do, including exporting your audio or exporting your MIDI, all that good stuff. Um, and of course, you can change the BPM, but since it's inside of our DAW, it's just going to sync right to our native BPM. <laughs> Computer Head says he wants to see an app with Comic Sans. I'm afraid no. I'm afraid that's just not what's going to happen. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's keep it going. So uh, to start using the app, all you have to do is click one button here at the bottom. A boom, create riff. And that has automatically created a riff for you. So we can start, we can listen to it by hitting play. <laughs> This is really great because 
it gives you something right away that's just a default preset. Now, if you want to actually uh, start clicking on some presets, we have this, the first page here is the preset page. You can see it's divided into um, a bunch of different things here. A bunch of different uh, categories, metal, classic, funk, clean, hard rock, uh, even some electronic stuff in here. Um, so if we click on, for example, uh, we're in the rock presets right now. So on the inside of the rock presets, we can have a bunch of stuff like uh, funk, uh, pop punk, metal, a bunch of stuff in here, arpeggios even. So we can hit play and just start clicking on some of these presets. Probably got too fast of a BPM for most of this stuff, but it's all right. The pop punk's gonna sound good, of course. All the pop punk and metal. And again, at any given time, if you don't like that riff, just click the Create Riff button. Let's create another one. So, um, with those categories, so you have your categories on the left and then a bunch of presets on the right. We can check out the Hard Rock presets and see what those sound like. Let's click on a few of those. Oh yeah. Now before I go any further, I do want to mention that the reason why all of these are going to sound so good, all these presets are going to sound so good, is because in the tone section, you can see that he's got all of these different modeled amps in here. So all these different presets, including drive, um, clean, fuzz, uh, crunch, even some synth stuff in here. So in you, so all of these presets that you see over here is going to be using one of these tones. And these tones are already really, 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 really great. This is why he's been getting requests for people to be able to enter in our own notes, because since he's already got these tones figured out for you, these almost a hundred plus tones or more, um, it would be great to be able to enter in your own notes. So that's definitely coming at some point. He's got a lot of stuff coming, including that, more features, um, being able to trigger with uh, trigger the riffs with your with, with the MIDI keyboard, um, and of course a bunch more sounds, a bunch more tones, and a bunch more presets. Right, so all that stuff is coming. This is a project that John is going to be working on and wants to work on for years, years to come. Because he, you know, he really believes that he's got something special here, and I have to agree with him. You know, this is why I wanted to create this interface and donate this interface to him because I think that the potential, the the stuff underneath the foundation is so, so, so good, so amazing that he just needed a bit of a UI change to, so people can kind of get into it a little bit easier. And then of course, now he just needs more presets. So uh, it's got a foundation ready to go. So let's hear a couple more of these. Yeah, let's lower the tempo just a little bit because some of the clean stuff sounds better at a lower tempo as a... Uh, as Burns mentioned. It's one of the clean stuff here. Oops. Rock. But again, it's crazy because once you click on something, you can instantly change the tone. So watch this. So like, oh, you know what? We like this riff, but I want to change the tone. I want it to be clean. You know what? It's like, you know what? Maybe it's too fast. I can change the feel by making it an eighth note. Slow it down a little. Change the key, of course, at any given time. So, really great. Let's try a few more presets before we start digging in any further. Let's get some classic rock in here.
I don't know if they have some lo-fi in here, Tim. We'll take a look. Surf rock. <laughs> Wipeout. a huge control uh amount of control over these riffs and tones at any given time so what i've been doing so far is playing with one of these just selecting a preset and then tweaking it a little bit inside of these other tabs so let's continue with that let's try some more in here uh let's go to clean got some good cleans in here Nice. Oh yeah, really great for pop right here, nice pluck. Let's try a different riff. course, any given time, he could turn on the drums. Help you play along, help you create some riffs. You can really get lost in this app, guys. Beautiful sounds, beautiful tones. Again, these tones are so nice, and there's a bunch of tones that you can change at any time that you want. So it's just great how you can mix and match. Like, maybe grab a metal riff, but then maybe alter it a little bit uh, to make it clean if you want. Or maybe grab a clean one, but then make it turn it into some metal chugs. Like, whatever you want to do, you can go in and out um, of all of these different things. But the lovely part is starting off first with one of these presets. But now it's time for some metal presets, right? Let's get some metal presets in here. Turn up the BPM, get some metal presets in here. See what we got with this. Babs, what's going on, Babs? This lady, Apathy. Let's try some more. And every time you click on one of these, it'll create a new riff too. It's the equivalent of clicking on the create riff button again. Just clicking on another one. Thrash Meadow!
loops in here. Another rip. Right now. Oh, yeah. I like this one. <laughs> I might keep this one. I might keep this one, fam. I'm gonna have to pull up a guitar. Throw a rhino on it. Rhino! more riffs in here actually i want to um i might want to record that <laughs> so to record the midi out out of riffler it's really really simple all you have to do is hit the record button and it'll record the midi for you right to the timeline nice and simple record that midi for me please Thank you. And then uh, I'll just throw that over there. And I'd also like to record the audio, please. I'll just freeze it real quick. Grab the audio out of there. Ba bam Now I've got the audio as well as the MIDI.
And it's just that simple. So we can throw this, you know, we could throw this MIDI somewhere else if we want, like on a clean guitar or something. Or on a different guitar. That sounds like.
change the riff. Change the riff. I love this app so much. Oh my goodness, I gotta stop. We gotta continue the tutorial. I don't know what <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I haven't even looked at the chat. I haven't looked at nothing. Okay, let's take a look at the chat real quick um, to see how we're doing. Because we're just been we just been making riffs, um, making stuff with those riffs, uh, making stuff to complement those riffs, going back and forth. <laughs> it's so much fun. We rocking out. We're rocking out. I'm like sweating. <laughs> we're we're rocking out over here, fam. Hope you guys are having a good time. Um, seeing the power of Riffler. Of course, we're, we've been using it for metal mostly right now, but you can use it for anything, for clean, for country, for funk, all that good stuff. Um, <laughs> you can really start to tweak those um, those settings in here, you know, between the, between the feel and um, the touch. Between the feel and the touch, you can really start to get some stuff because in the feel, you can adjust your melody and your range and your rhythm and all that good stuff and in the touch you can adjust the chords and the vibrato so between these two tabs you can really start to narrow in an exact type of sound that you're going for and then of course you can at any time adjust the darn tone to make it whatever you want clean dirty funk whatever that you want it's, it's all right here and there's even some drums to help you out in there as well of course you can change the key and the tuning and you can even change the length we've been creating four bars right but uh let's 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 go up to eight. Let's see. Let's create a riff and see uh, really quick uh, what that sounds like as an eight bar loop as well. See you later, computer head. Francesco. Says sounds great, Vortex. Yep. Oh my goodness, so much fun. <laughs> you can just, I mean, listen to these riffs that it's creating. Full eight bar, beautiful sounding riffs. And of course, they sound super good because they're in um, specific tones using specific chord, or sorry, they're in a specific key using specific chord progression and using very, very specific tones that John created for this app because there's a ton of tones that he's trying to nail. And they, in my opinion, all of these get nailed. The crunch, he nails the crunch, the fuzz, the clean, and all of these tones, in my opinion. You've, hear, you've, you've heard these tones in some of the most popular music for the last 30, 40 plus years and you're gonna hear them here. So a lot of great, great, great stuff. Really enjoyed uh, creating some of that metal stuff uh, as well. And as you can see, just, man, just the possibilities are endless. It just keeps creating more and more riffs and they all sound really, really decent. So um, really, really fun stuff. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but that's kind of pretty much the demo of Riffler. I think we can actually try to start making some music though we've been kind of doing that all along a little bit but uh, lots and lots of fun um inside of here to be had like i said we're probably going to make some metal because it's so easy to make that sound good <laughs> in this app but it, you can make anything you can really 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 make anything that you want and you know what i, I want to hear this darn metal riff again because it's just that good
Let me know if you guys have any other questions. We are just having fun here, uh, rocking out with Riffler, um, using some of the drums from our completely free Essentials Modern Metal Pack that you can download at mobilemusicpro.com. And of course, using the riffs from Riffler. So what do we want to do? Um, I say we try to put something together, maybe. Um, let's see if we can see it's 11 a.m. So <laughs> we got to come up with something. We'll come up with something. Ooh, take a quick break, grab some coffee. But goodness, guys. Riffler is just an incredible app to make all sorts of music that you can think of. Anything with a guitar. Any genre with a guitar, you'll be able to make with Riffler. And boy, oh boy, are we having fun rocking out today. It's a Riffler weekend over here at Mobile Music Pro. Okay, now. So I think now that we've settled on a riff... Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's see what this riff sounds like. Gosh, that sounds good. John so nailed the tones. Boy, it's beautiful. Let's see what the other one was that we came up with before that. This one's good, dude. It's nice, but it's a little bit more repetitive than, than this one here, which I like more, I think. Yeah, I like this one. It's got that run at the end. So we'll probably do that one. So let's go ahead and record uh, the MIDI for that. Okay, now let's uh, put that somewhere else. Let's, uh, let's see what I want to do. Well, I'll put that somewhere down here or something right now. And then over here, I want to get the audio from that. Make sure we got no master on there. Okay. Let's grab the audio. Okay, good. <clears throat> got the audio. Now. What I want to do is mute Riffler for now. I'm going to dilute, duplicate these two tracks. Got to put things like a, got to put our normal stuff in here, like a channel strip and an EQ. Okay. Don't need this one anymore. I don't believe. Might even do something fun. Um, 
Well, before we do that, let's get the EQ in here. Okay. Channel strip. Get that in more in the center here. Okay. Now what I want to do is something fun like um throwing this off just a little bit. Kind of create a nice little effect here. A little widener effect. It's kind of already, it's already wide, so we don't really need to do this. <laughs> so I guess I won't do that. It's already as wide as it can freaking be. I thought that would be kind of fun, but it's already there. Okay. All right, now we got the MIDI. Throw the drums up there, because probably keep the same drum loop. I like this drum loop. Start making something that we can arrange. Something that we can arrange. Got Riffler, the drums is going to be orange. Make Riffler red. Oh, drum's supposed to be orange. Yep. Okay. Now, do something different here. See if I can complement this with this one. Something like that. Might make this a little bit louder, though. I think I got the right tone for that. Now I just want to see what the actual notes are. What's funny is you can even like, we can bring this down a bit. Here. 
Okay, right. Right. <laughs> Kind of sounds good like that, but I, I do want it to not interfere too much. Yeah, see, I want it like that. I want it in the background like that. Let's try that. Something like that. Now we need a bass. We put a lead in there. All right, let's see if we can put a bass in here. kind of messed up. Let's try that. <laughs> I didn't even have the rest of the track playing, <laughs> but I wanted to still play with that a little bit. Okay, here we go. Too. We can um, like this and go auto. That helps me a lot. Ah. Gosh. I wish I could have it without.
pretty close. I'm just going to copy that first half. <laughs> That's good enough for now. Copy. Paste. Select and glue these two together. Select and glue. As you can see, sometimes the stuff cuts out there, so it's always good to freeze your stuff as much as you can. It's always a good idea to freeze your track. So we are going to freeze our tracks up here. First, we're going to roll this up back up here. Freeze our tracks. A couple of our tracks. We're going to freeze uh, the, this one. And then we're going to freeze the base. Well, the base is fine. It's the base. But this I want to freeze. some kind of melody here. something like that.
just don't i'm not happy with it I, i'm not happy with that recording i'm gonna try it again i like the melody but I, don't, I can't seem to get it recorded right let's try it one more time only 30 minutes left until the giveaway I give this some swing Let's see cuz it seems like it needs a little bit of swing
get that. I think we got something pretty decent. I wonder if we can add an arpeggio or not. These guys think. I wonder if it'll be appropriate. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Hmm. I don't think so. Just trying to make something work. Just for fun. Oops. Just for fun. That'd be hilarious if this actually worked. I don't even think there's enough room for it in the stereo bandwidth left. <laughs> We've pretty much made it as wide as we can get already, so. All right, so that's pretty much fun. I think we had a good time there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and listen to this thing again. Let's see what we got here. Let's pull in some stuff. Start out with just a riffler. <laughs> Get ready. Let's bring it in. Bring in the bass. for a lead.
yeah, all right, all right. Yes, we have made something, something amazing. It was so much fun. I have to pull out my, my gosh darn power thing because that adds extra distortion into the feed. But man, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know I had a great, great time. That was just so, so much fun, guys. We created something pretty, pretty cool there, I think. Pretty, pretty fun. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So I think uh, let's go and check the chat. See how everybody's doing. We'll keep this playing maybe on a small, on a um, quieter level. See how everybody's doing. All right, all right. Oop. See how everybody's doing. We got Tim Taylor here still. All right. System Measure says. <laughs> System Assure says Vortex, you'll be killing it right now. Appreciate you, bro. System Assure, yeah, yeah. Dr. Rabbitfoot and Amps go to 11. <laughs> yeah. Tim Taylor says Rhino is so cool. Love it, love it, love it. Love the riffs. Of course, we all started it all with Riffler. Riffler is so awesome. And of course, right now, it's only about uh, $10 right now on the App Store. If Riffler is on discount for $10, like you cannot beat that price. I'm sure the price is going to go up eventually when he has more, more stuff in there, right? So I think we had a good, good time there, guys. So look, if you do want to be entered into the giveaway, I think we're ready, right? Ready for the giveaway. So if you do want to be entered into the giveaway, give me a thumbs up now. And we will get you in there. I think we have a... We have two keys, two codes to give away. So if you want to be entered, give me a thumbs up in the chat right now. And we will get you entered into the giveaway. Only 11 people here, so your odds of winning are pretty good. Raymond. Raymond says, came together pretty nicely. Appreciate you, bro. Three eyes open. Yeah. Fram Freedom already has it, of course. Dr. Rabbitfoot. Four people, anybody else? Most people have this app because, you know, it's been out for a while, but it just had a brand new user interface refresh, and it's going to have a lot more stuff coming in the future, so. Dun, dun. <laughs> Steven Tucker already won it here before. So let's get ready to kill the music. All right, all right, all right. Let's kill the music. We got four people entered. Let me know if you guys want to be entered in here or forever hold your peace because we are about to do a giveaway. Francesco already has the app as well. See, most people already have the app, so it's kind of hard to do a giveaway on these older apps that have been around for a while, but I still want to do it because I want to get this app in front of as many people as possible. Like, seriously, so much potential, so much possibility, especially, of course, especially if you can't play the guitar like myself. Well, I play it, but I play it terribly. If you play the guitar terribly like me, then you might want this app because it can give you so many unlimited riffs, as you can see, in any virtually any tone for virtually any genre. So... If you, if you do want to be entered into the giveaway, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Right now, we only got four people entered. Tim Taylor, Raymond, Three Eyes Open, and Dr. Rabbitfoot. Anybody else? 25% chance of winning, basically. <laughs> right? Samuel says. 
Hey, Cody, what's going on? Cody says, as a guitarist, I must say it doesn't sound that far off from live playing. And if you can get more technical with subtle nuances and bends, like Samuel was talking about, then this thing is awesome. And you can absolutely get technical with the bends, guys. If we take a look here, you can see um, you can get super, super technical. Remember, the developer of this app is a guitar player, a very, very good guitar player. So he knows about all this stuff, including things like, um, where we go? including things like bends, right? So here you go. Put the bends in there if you want. Add some vibrato if you want. Add some more chords or reduce the chords or maybe just make it fully mute if you want. You know, fully crank up the mute, curl down the chords and just make it a muted type of um, riff. Whatever you want to do, the control here is really, really, really crazy to be able to do anything you want, including upping the rhythm, upping, you know, upping the gaps or reducing the gaps. I mean, it's kind of crazy. You can really start to dial in something very, very specific it's just from starting from a, a relatively regular preset. Yeah. So, more people. Technics is here. We've got to get Technics in here. What's going on, Technics? Hope you're doing well, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you, Samuel. Got him in here, my friend. Nine people watching, five people entered. We're about to do this giveaway. Yeah, Technics, not a problem, bro. We got you in here. All right. Lazy Cow says, good luck to everybody. Okay, here we go. So, let's get this going. Are you guys ready? Let's do it in a three, a two. Let's spin. Gotta make it bigger. Everybody can see. Three eyes open. Dr. Rabbitfoot. Looks like it's Rabbitfoot. Hey, Rabbitfoot. Congratulations, bro. You, sir, are the first winner of the day. The winners today will send me an email. Make sure you send me an email to Mobile Music Pro Contact. That's Mobile Music Pro Contact at gmail.com. Send me an email, all the winners, to Mobile Music Pro Contact at gmail.com. Now, if you do want a second chance to get put on the wheel, definitely make sure you consider sign up for our Patreon. We can sign up for as little as $1 a month, and we throw you on the wheel two more times. So make sure you check that out. Patreon.com slash Mobile Music Pro. We're about to spin it for a second time today. So everybody get ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Congratulations to Rabbit Foot, but let's see who it's going to be now. Big winner, big winner, big winner. Technics? Hey, Technics came in and grabbed it. Technics. Technics, all right. Technics and Rabbit Foot. Guys, Technics and Rabbit Foot, make sure you send me an email to mobile music pro contact at gmail.com. That's mobile music pro contact at gmail.com. We'll get you your codes. And Tim Taylor, Raymond, three eyes open, guys. Uh, consider, if you're not yet already, consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash mobile music pro, where you can get two more chances to win an app code every time we do two codes for the live stream and two codes for our patrons. So, guys, thank you so, so much for joining us today. I had a great, great, great time. Yeah, here's the website here, patreon.com slash mobile music pro where you can join for as little as one dollar a month so check that out consider subscribing because of course we work so hard to get you guys get you guys all sorts of stuff news and information all about mobile music production every single week i hope you guys enjoyed the show today we had a great great time oops i had so much fun building up this riff guys it was so much fun let's start from the very beginning of the riff and then build out on the way out as we go so again guys thank you so much for being here till next time everybody please keep talking music we'll see you all later bye